Hello everyone, welcome to another GLPI video and my name is Arthur Schiffer, I'm from Brazil and today we're going to talk about GLPI 10 which is the new version that is going out, is going to be released on this December 15, 2021. Thank you for all the requests to make more English videos. I hope you enjoy because I'm I'm starting to do more than one. I'm going to, to make the older videos, like newer, and the new videos, I intend to, to do them as well in English. Give me a thumb or subscribe or give me some comments so I can know that you are liking my videos. So first of all, we're going to talk about the new interface of GLPI 10. As you can see, here we have some new features, new buttons. So if you go here, I have two. I have the GLPI, uh, GLPI 9.5 and I also have the GLPI 10. And on April 21, we did a very, a very nice live here, Service Desk YouTube channel. So you, if you want, you can subscribe as well. Uh, it was in, in Portuguese. I talked a little bit in English with some people that were there. But now I want to do some split videos talking of each feature. For example, today I'm going to talk about the new modern interface, which is based on Bootstrap, which is a framework, which is a HTML, CSS framework, and Tabler, which do, does these, all of these dashboards and things that we can see here with more modern details. We don't have shadows and stuff. We, ha we also have some new features on the dark themes for people who like uh, the, the, the dark themes. We have three of them. And I want to talk about the new ticket interface, which is the new timeline, we say, for tickets and also to other things. But the ticket is the more used. Here we can see that on the older versions, we had a very messy situation where we, we would use this like oh we can we have to click here and then come back here to put the follow-up the task and documents and then come back here to see other things other uh, information so now all is here we have this at our right side all the situation about the, the ticket and also in the middle we have the timeline so we can put like a task we can put a solution ask for validation we can we can do whatever we want and also we have here the other tabs, which are not so useful when we are uh, supporting someone. They could be useful to other situations, but when we are talking to another requester or when we are talking to our clients, it's easier when we have the situation here and we have also the option to just add the information that we, we want and looking also to who are the actors, who are, what are the items that, that are inside the situation, the service levels that are uh, set up, set up, that are set up. And also, I think this is a very, very nice improvement on GLPI, GLPI layout. Also, we have uh, two new ways of, of seeing the dashboard, like the menu, sorry. So here we have the menu on our left side and we can also we can also change it here on my settings and we hope go to personalization we can also set it up to all platform for our enterprise but here you can change to horizontal and it's nice because when you click save it just changes you don't need to log off and log in again so it's all there I do like the left menu, so I will use the left menu for this video. So here I can put again on the vertical side. And also we have the find menu. On other versions we have the control out letter G to find for modules and menus inside GLPI. Since people didn't use it a lot, TechLib put the control control alt g as a, a button here like find menu and we also can find the menus that we want and it's easier when we don't remember the all the path to find it so it's a very nice improvement as well 
Here we have also the collapse menu situation, where imagine you have a, a smaller screen like 13 inches or 14 inches. Here you can just collapse the menu and expand the menu to fit better on your screen. So now we have like a, a drop down where we can just choose what we want. But let's come back to the tickets because that is where we have most of our changes. Good? So where we can uh, see better the filters. So as you can see, I just hide and show the filters. So imagine we have a lot of filters here, a lot of filters here, and we don't want it to just pollute the screen. And then we can just toggle search filters and they are not here, they're not there anymore. We just see what we have to see. Also, another thing that I do like is the header and the footer that just don't disappear like on GLPI, GLPI 9.5 or 9.4 or whatever. So for example, if I just zoom in here, as you can see, the header and the footer of our filters, they just disappear. And it's very nasty when we have to look for, for example, uh, more than 50, 100 tickets, and we just don't know what is written on the header. It's a very nice thing that they did here. Thank you, TechLib. For example, here, as you can see, the priority is always shown up. The opening date as well, the last update, and we also can add more columns and, you know, whatever we used to do before. So we can just add things here and whatever. And we also have another thing that I do like that are the saved searches. Not a lot of people use the saved searches. So let's imagine I would like to know all the tickets that are attributed to me, Artur. We can also here, we can come here and click on lists. Uh, here it's in Portuguese, which is not resolved tickets to Artur. So I click here and I can see all the tickets that are meant to me to work on, okay? So not solved. But before we had this also, but it was on a star here. And when you change the context or you change the, the menu that you were in, you just can't see it anymore. And also, if you have like, Save it searches for tickets, save it searches for assets. They all come together here and it's a mess. And now we have these with context. For example, now I'm on tickets, as you can see here. If I open up my lists here, lists, I, I will only see the tickets. I, I will change it. I will change it. I will change the name. I think it's here and drop downs probably. Let's see. Let's see with Control Alt G. Control Alt G. And we can just save searches, tool save searches. We go here and I'm gonna change to tickets not sold. Okay. And I will also change the other one that I have already done with another video, which is for changes. So not sold changes good so now I can go to the lists here and nothing appears why because on this context which is tools save it searches I don't have save it searches saved so I can click on others and I can see all the save it searches that I have but when I go to for example assistance tickets I just open this list again tickets not sold see that I can't see the changes, just tickets, because we are in the context of a ticket. If you go to others, I can see the other ones. So if I go to assistance and changes, it's the other way around. So I can go to lists, I can see not solved changes, and I also, when I click on others, I can see the tickets not solved. So it's a very, ni very, very nice thing. Also, I can pin this panel 
So every time I change the context or the menu, it just appears like their lists. Sorry, pin, okay. And I go to assistance. There it is, the save it searches. But now I can go to, for example, a lot of tickets. I go here and I click, okay, this is a ticket that I want to see. I click on this and here are the saved searches, opened. No, it's not what I want. I can go to the next and save it searches are here as well. I did like the improvements on saved searches. The themes, the dark themes, as I said before. I told you that we have three. So I can go to Horror Dark, for example, which is a, it's a lights out, uh, like Twitter, uh, but not black. You can see it's like a, a bit blue, a bit purple, I don't know exactly. But I can go to also Dark, which is a white with black headers. It's nice, it's good, it's, it's clean, it's neat. And I can also come to my settings, change to darker, which is a very black theme. See, but we have some we have some contrasts. It's it it's a bit it's a bit cleaner, but if if we change to my settings and put on midnight, which is a very nice name, <laughs> midnight, everything's go dark, like very dark, very black, actually. So now we have everything black. One thing I didn't like is on dashboard, the, all of the things that are white keeps white. <laughs> I don't like it. If you have a black screen and some white squares, it seems like something that would annoy you when you are watching these at night or on a dark place. Let's combine, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna come back to Purple Haze, which is neater. And that's the things I had to show you about the new modern interface of GLPy 10. And I intend to do more videos in Portuguese as well, but since a lot of people had asked me to do more English videos, I just have two here on my YouTube channel. I came to see you if you want me to keep doing these videos. So if you want to have a, a closer contact to me, you can go to Instagram uh, and follow me. I'm gonna let the, the link below, the hyperlink below. You can follow me, it's Artur R. Schaefer, which is my name. Usually answer for some questions there, and you can come to, to see me and talk to me. Thank you for, <laughs> for your time, observations, and commentaries, if you have some, and see you around.